in, in uh, the other day I was in my, uh, what I automate this week, I was talking through how I was trying to parse text using stir split and break on a double quote. Um, I, I actually talked to Mace with, he, he helped me, um, come up with two solutions and just wanted to share back to you, um, how, how else it could have been done. What I, what I did in my video was I said, Hey, let me, um, let me put the needle it's equal to, oh, and I just want one here. So I'm going to put the needle and actually if we show, so I'm going to save this, reload it and run it and see, you can see in that variable is a double quote. And so when you, when you do that, let me get rid of this. I don't need this one anymore. And here I'll get rid of the double quotes and I'm going to say needle is a variable, right? So first it's going to show you just so you can see, this is the message box here showing what's in here. Um, instead of using the colon equals, it, it'll tell it to take everything here, treat it as an expression and it dumps it into the variable. So this is how I'm throwing in my double quotes in my text. And now here, when we do it, you'll see, Oh, I forgot to um, tell it which one. So let's get, um, let's get the second thing. So it should be the automator, I think. Um, so that's still the text. And now it's the automator. So it parsed it on this double quote here by doing it that way. Um, this isn't a terrible way. It's just, uh, it, it bugged me because I, I remembered there was a way, but I couldn't get it to work. Um, so what it boils, let me get rid of this message box. Um, and now let's first show, um, it has to do with this CHR function. So um, I'm going to go ahead and run this and show care 65. Actually, let's, let's pull up the help file on the CHR and, and that's showing you the care you put in a number and it's going to return you a string. Um, this to me was kind of cryptic, but if you look up a Unicode, um, ASCII table in here. So what number did I have there? 65. So if we look 65 here, 65 will be an A, right? So now when I come back in here, save it, reload and run it, Hey, it pulled back an A, right? So this is returning an A. So you can kind of look at it and go, oh, okay, what if it was 66? All right, it's going to be a capital B. Um, what if I did 48? Should be um, a zero. Oops. <clears throat> so so that part works. What, um, what you can do is when you look at it and you say, hey, look, here's 34 is a double quote. Right. So, um, if I set this to be 34, it's going to show it as it's pulling back a double quote. Well, Hey, then I can actually take this value here and instead of using that needle, I can put it in here. Let me go ahead and get rid of this just so we don't get confused. So now when I actually, I don't want that one. When I'm run it, it gets back to the automator. So this char 34 is parsing it on the double quote. Right. So that's, this is to me, um, a tighter, uh, cleaner, even though there's nothing anywhere really like if you look up the stir split, it doesn't mention, I wrote, um, one of the admins and asked him if he could add this to the documentation. Cause it's, uh, it's, I would have thought, um, so let's save this one. I would have thought that cause within the double quotes, I would have thought, Hey, maybe if I do this, um, so try to escape this double quote, um, or would have, or sometimes in like regular expressions, this is an escape. Um, it's one of the things I don't like about a hotkey is depending on the thing you're using, some of the times the escape, um, character changes, um, but neither of those work. The other one that does work and this for the love of God doesn't make any sense to me is you use four double quotes. Now, when I run this, it's going to work just the same way. How four is escaping a double quote instead of three. I, that I just, it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I can definitely understand three. That's a lot of other language I've used. That's how you, you put it in there. It'll, it'll, the first one escapes the second one and the, uh, um, or actually the first and the third one, I think are wrapping it in the thing in the middle it'll be used, but it doesn't work without a hotkey. So you have to use four. Um, and so it, it, which yeah, logically that just does not make any sense to me, but you can use four and four is reliable and, um, and it's very straightforward, but, um, you have to remember that you can use four, right? So, so basically that was it. Um, either of those, the, the, the CHR 34 or the 
using four of them. Now, just imagine if you had a bunch of double quotes in a row somewhere, like that would not be pretty to read if you're using all four of these, but also neither would several of these in a row. So um, I'm not sure. Thankfully, usually not parsing on multiple double quotes. Uh, but that was it. It just uh, wanted to make sure I, I covered the, the um, a, a different approach. So now we have three approaches for using stir split in parsing on a double quote. All right. Thanks. Cheers.